Hey, hey guys, my name is Heather and this is my channel, Mama in Motion. If you're new here, I'm on a journey to lose 100 pounds post hysterectomy, which I had back in October 2021. 20, and I've been on this weight loss journey since June of 2022. And if you wanna see the progress that I've made over the last year, then you can go ahead and view my last video. I will try to include a clip up here. Otherwise, I will put a clip down in the um, uh, like description box so that you can see like photos of the progress that I've made over the last year. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do a quick overview of how my week went and then we'll do my weigh in and then we'll wrap up the video. So um, this past week I went to the doctor for my hand and um, he actually said that he thinks I may have fractured my thumb originally, which was like six months ago. Um, I just had an x-ray done last week. He thinks that it could have healed over that time, but the way that I'm compensating for the injury could be causing carpal tunnel in my hand because it goes through my wrist and up my arm into my elbow. Um, so he's sending me to a hand surgeon and I'm getting an MRI done um, to see if they can figure out what's going on within the soft tissue. Um, yeah, I'm supposed to wear this till Wednesday and then I get to take it off. Uh, I'll still be wearing it at nighttime. So I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. And then as far as exercise goes, I did exercise this week, but I only did it one time. And, um, I did an exercise on my recumbent, on my recumbent bike. Uh, I've just had a really rough week, um, with pain and I've been really tired this past week and um, also I have issues with like restless arms and legs which is causing my sleep to be really disturbed and I'm waking up a lot throughout the night. I do find that when I exercise more that that does help with the symptoms not being quite so bad uh, but sometimes I just don't feel like exercising so mainly I've been losing the weight um, by you know changing how much I'm eating and limiting my sugar and uh, I usually use stevia you know instead of uh, a sugar to substitute and um, I really just been limiting my sugar intake and I cut back on calories and so I've been able to lose weight even though I haven't been exercising super regularly um, so it's really nice to see the results uh, coming through like that um, but I do want to start working out more. I feel like it'll definitely improve my mood and probably help with the restless arms and legs that I have. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get on to the weight loss. Weekly weigh-in. So last week I weighed in, wow, I didn't even see what I weighed in last week. Um, I weighed in at like 219 point something, 0 0.7, 0 0.3, I don't remember. Um, but to, uh, yesterday morning, Saturday morning, I weighed in at 218 even. So just 218 pounds is what I weighed in at. So I'm making progress. Um, I lost about a pound and a half over the last week, which I'm super um, stoked about. And um, once I get to 216 pounds, I will be 30 pounds down. So I'm like super close um, to reaching the 30 pound down mark which is like a really big deal. I feel like 30 pounds is really substantial. And, uh, you know, if I can get 30 pounds down, like, why can't I just keep going? You know, like what's going to stop me? Um, obviously there are, there are factors like with my health that have stopped me in the past. Um, but I'm really just hoping for, you know, a positive thing. I have this hand problem right now, but it's not the same as the abdominal and, you know, pelvic pain issues that I've been suffering with. Uh, and all the conflict, like all the different issues I've had over the last several years. Um, so anyways, so I've made great progress and I am very proud of myself. And, uh, I just want to say thank you so much for following along this journey. If you want to leave a comment below and just send me a message of encouragement, I really, I really love reading those and it really makes me really happy. It makes me really happy to know that other people are there and uh, supporting my journey and like rooting for me. It's really nice um, just to have people, you know, cheering you on. It's very encouraging. So anyways, thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.